Hi, um, my name's Sally Fritzen, and um, this is my first time. Yeah. I, I brought a lot of my friends to make sure I would actually get up and do this. Well, my husband and I lived in Buffalo for a while, and then we moved to Wisconsin, where he had a lot of friends. And one point, they decided to take a whitewater canoe trip. And yeah. So I said, sure. I was kind of new to the group, but I said, yeah, let's go. So this would be a couple of days on the water. You pack all your stuff in the canoe, tents and stuff, and then proceed. So they decided on the Flambeau um, River, <laughs> torrential, awful river. So we went, and um, my husband and I got in the canoe, and I got in the front, the bow. He was in the stern, and we started, and we practiced some canoe trips. Now, I had gone canoeing in a lake and I kind of paddling around a camp but this was like serious you know three degree rapids or whatever so uh, I learned to J stroke and draw and back paddle and all sorts of things like that and how to paddle with resting strokes very important so for the first two days we we're going down these rapids and they were cool you know you you I were practicing the stuff and then I realized well I'm in the front and he's yelling at me in the back and I realized there cannot be two captains in the canoe. There can only be one captain in the canoe, and that's in the stern. <laughs> but I was a feminist, and I'm thinking, well, why can't I be, you know, de -de -de -de, I'm in the front. No, I, I learned that he is in the bow. He makes his decisions. I just follow his order. So we went through these two uh, days of rapids, and they were fun. Um, you have to look out for rocks and eddies and tree trunks and stuff. Well, the third day was the Flambeau Falls. Now, it's in my mind, as best as I can remember, it was between Victoria Falls and Niagara Falls, <laughs> somewhere between there. And I was very nervous. So what we do when you, in that situation is you park your canoe up above, or land your canoe. See, I'm not that great. So you park your canoe up above in the canoe parking area. And um, you walk down the falls, and then you see, OK, well, if I'm over here, I'm going to veer to the right or the left, and things like that. So you'll know where you're going when you go over the edge. And so we went back up there. And our good friend Andy was going to get to the bottom of the falls and say, over here, direct us like that. So um, all right, I'm going to do this. So I'm in the front, Rich is in the back, and we go over, and I just see the rim of the falls. That's all I see. I don't see any of the landmarks that we've talked about before. I, don't, I know there's a big boulder right down there, because I saw it, but I can't see where we're going. And I am scared to death. So I said, back paddle. So we're back paddling, which means you're going nowhere fast. And then I'm really pissed, angry at Rich for bringing me to this awful place. I'm angry at myself for letting myself come to this place. And I start swearing the way you do before you have kids, you know? <laughs> Which I won't do now, because I have kids. So I was backpedaling, backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. So I, I realized I can't backpedal all day. I mean, we can't get to the shore from where we are. We've made this much of a commitment. So I said, I have to do it. I'm going to die. And what for? <laughs> But so we got, so this, this stupid kitchen. So we go over the I make the I make the decision. We go over the edge and we we paddle and we make it through these awful rapids, death defying rapids, and we get to the, the place at the end and we just sort of relax and I kind of calm down and uh, it was thrilling but not in a good way. So <laughs> there's another couple in this group, and they could never figure out who the captain of their canoe was. They thought they had two captains, and you can't do that on a whitewater canoe trip. So what we heard before they went over was, back paddle, back paddle. No, I won't. Back paddle, back paddle. No, I won't. <laughs> and instead of shooting the rapids head on, they were doing it like a propeller. They were just sort of going closer to the edge, twisting and twisting and twisting. They went over sideways and got caught on that big boulder that I was afraid was going to kill me. So and two hours later, <laughs> we were like throwing ropes at them like they did in those old time movies. 
the third time they grabbed the rope and we got them off the rope. They never spoke again. They didn't speak on the trip. They never spoke again. They were a couple, no more. And so would I go canoeing? Yeah. Would I go whitewater canoeing? No way. <laughs>